representing the battle between darkness and the light of the last uh, 2,000 years. Now, the occult serpent religion uh, views a death and a new beginning as very important. Like I said, it doesn't matter what we believe. It matters what they believe because they're the ones that think they control us and, and have and think that they um, have power over us. So we got to pay attention to what they believe. Now, throughout the centuries, all right, the fertility worship of the spring uh, equinox has held in place that dates all the way back to Sumer, over 3,500 years before Christ. Now, considering this history itself here, okay, the death of an old age into a new age, it is vital. It is extremely important. And this age will be the age of the dominance of the New World Order and the rise of the occult agenda. It will also be the rise of the New Age ideology, thus leading to a one world religion. Catholicism, whether it's Islam, it won't matter, people, because it will be abolished if the New Age philosophy is thrust in. So considering the occult numerology about December 21st, 2012, 11-11, or more importantly, 11, 11, 11, which is November the 11th, 2011, we can basically be assured that startling events will take place around this time. Okay? Uh, I'm not trying to be a fear monger here, people. Uh, I know numerology. I've been studying it for 20 years. I know symbology. I've been studying it for 20 years. I know the occult. I've been studying it for 20 years. Okay? I know false flags. I've been studying it for a fucking long time. So, uh, I know my stuff, and I know what I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to cram this stuff down your throat, and I'm not trying to make you believe in anything or try to scare you. I'm putting the information out there for you so that you can take it, and you can do the research for yourself. Now, using the numbers of 2012 dividing by uh, 666, the number is 3.02102102102. Okay, which is 0.2 plus 1 equals 3, which is basically a prime number of the occult. 2012 divided by 6 is 335.333. Now, this is very symbolic of uh, occult numbers to 3 and to 5 here, people. Okay? 2012 minus 666 is 1346. And that's interesting because the date, that's the date when the Black Death Plague began. Okay, in Europe, the date of the Black Death is said to have commenced between 1346 and 1348, from many different sources. But even of the plague started, uh, if the plague started in Europe in 1347, the, vi the virus itself it migrated uh, from the east. So let's go back further in time here, people. Okay, we're, we're going to backtrack a little bit here. Uh, 1346 minus 666 gives you 680. On October 10th, 680. Or the 22nd Safar, 61, Hijara, 680 BC, uh, before Christ. The Battle of Karbala. Shia Iman Hussein bin Ali, who was the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, was decapitated by forces under Caliph uh, Yazid I. Now this is commemorated by uh, uh, Shia Muslims as uh, Ashura. The event caused the division of Islam. So when you have uh, 10 slash 10 equals 11, or 6 plus 8 equals 14, it's a multiple of seven. The 22nd Safar equals a double 11. And I talked about double 11s and towers. And 61 Hijara, which is six plus one equals seven, that signifies a completed agenda. Seven signifies a completed agenda, people. Further yet, if you go to 680 minus 666, um, it gives you 14. Now, 14 is a year... Uh, that Augustus died, the Roman ruler of 40 years, who was possibly murdered on, um, I believe it was August 18th, the year 14. So you have 8 plus 1 plus 9 gives you 18, and that correlates with 666. 14 CE, it equals 1 plus 4, which would give you 5, the number of death. Like I said before, 5 represents the number of death. Okay, it is said that he died, Augustus, at 3 o'clock p.m., which is 1,500 hours. 3 plus 5 equals 15, or 1 plus 5 equals 6. Okay? Very interesting. Very interesting. 11. 
a uh, very interesting number to people. You've got to look it up. And 11, like I said, it correlates with K. When you have three sets of them, it's KKK. Now, before uh, December 21st, 2012, and 11-11, uh, occurs the date 11 11 11 like I said earlier it's going to present itself and it correlates with the letters KKK watch out for November the 11th this year guys so while 11 is very important okay multiplications like I said are very important such as 22 33 44 55 and so on now if you multiply 1111 by 1111 you get 1234321 and that's re represents a pyramid Okay, and number 11 is a very secret number of the pyramid with the proportions of the Great Pyramid being of the ratio 7-11. So 11-11-11, which on a Friday will occur on uh, December 21st, 2012 at 11-11, the time which correlates with 11-11-11, which is also on a Friday, the sixth day of the week, according to the Western calendar, is going to have a massive significance on us. Now, the occult Satanists out there, okay, they believe that a carefully planned event must be carried out according to uh, the correct numbers, or it won't be successful. Now, they go to great lengths to make an event occur according to the uh, correct numbers. And 11 is the essence of all that is sinful, harmful, and imperfect. Now, 9-11, it caused drastic change. We all know that. Uh, initiation, <laughs> in, in, sorry, initiation of a war. Okay, on the date November 1st, which is 111. It also transpires that 111 in numerology is a power number related to fresh modes of thinking applied to new cycles in life's play. When you have a series of uh, six ones, maybe a super power number doubling 111. And uh, when you factor all that in, and I don't want to try to lose you here, guys, but it factors into 11, 11, 11. It all goes back to 11, 11, 11, which symbolizes in symbology as KKK. Now, I want you to take note, possibly nothing will occur on November the 11th, 2011. Uh, but it is highly probable that something around that date, particularly November the 9th, will occur. Uh, nothing occurred on, you know, in the year uh, 2006 on June 6th. But occult behavior is based on deception and covert action. There's a big white elephant in the room. Now, November 1st is called All Saints Day or uh, All Hallows, right? Uh, it's the date after Halloween, which is All Hallows Eve. It celebrates where people put on masks, as you know, and it's a celebration of the, the master ball, okay, of the lower entities. Now, October 31st, when you break down in numerology, the 1031, 1 plus 3 plus 1 equals 5, death. Five is the number of death that correlates to Baal's death of the spirit and emotion, or, or rather new life, into the darkness. Now, November 1st is a major day for the occult, 11-1, which equals 1-1-1. Now, understanding the importance and perception of how the occult values death and new life, it is pivotal to understanding the agenda of the combined powers of the darkness here, all right? The number 11 is extremely significant in 9-11. Uh, you can go to the website, cuttingedge.org, and they'll give you tons of information um, on 9-11. So I want to talk about the complete uh, of 70 years of Jewish exile here, okay? With so much focus on 2012, the date of 2018, if we make it there, it is pushed into oblivion. 2018 will be the 70th year uh, completement of the Jewish exile, defining as possessing a nation, but no temple. Uh, so it's something we got to keep an eye on, too. March 14th, 1948, that's when the Jews proclaimed independence. Five can stand alone, okay, in here when it comes to numerology, one plus four equals five for the date. Uh, now, when you add the year 1948 and you break it down, that's one plus nine plus four plus eight, it gives you 22. Scary, because it symbolizes uh, a, double, a double 11, double the trouble, if you will. Um, and if you enter the entire date, which would be for May 5th, uh, no, sorry, for, um, what is it, uh, May, and the 5 and the 22, it gives you 33. You know that 33 and 22 are the power numbers of 11. You got 11, which is bad. When you got 22, it's, it, it, it's much worse. And when you get 33, you're dealing with serious trouble here. So two power numbers that relate to 11 from the date Israel proclaimed independence, very important. The month of 5 may signify death. 
defining as death, as the old and the eleven signify activation of a new birth. The day 14 is a multiple of seven. That signifies a time of completion. Like I said earlier, seven, um, when the Illuminati uses number seven, it's a way of them saying to you that their agenda has been completed. For whatever agenda that they are trying to push out there. Israel's flag itself, you all know this, I don't have to tell you this, it's a six-pointed star, or two pyramids, one standing upright, the other facing downward. The symbolism of the occult, such as back of the American $1 bill. Now, 1948 minus 2018, right, gives you 70, a time of completion correlates with the exile of the year 586 BCE. 2018, you break that down in numerology, 2 plus 1 plus 8 equals 11. The year 18 equals 6 plus 6 plus 6. 2018 divided by 666 gives you 3.03. .03. Very important with numerology, people. Very important. This is not a coincidence. Okay? 2018 divided by 6 gives you 336. Instead of a 5 as in 2012 divide 6, there is a 6s with all 3s. Now, counting through uh, 13 through uh, 2018 equals six years. 2018 is more of a significant date than 2012. But of course, since 2012 possibly is a death of an old age and a birth into a new age, or the birth into a new world order and new world religion, new ageism, the occult is popularizing the event. And in doing so, 2018 is being pushed aside. Now the movie The Terminator that debuted in 1984 and then created three more movies afterwards, they coined 2018 as Judgment Day. Yet within the context of the, the movie, The Judgment Day, it was only the beginning. This context may correlate with 2012. Now from 9-11 destruction, 9-11, uh, 2001 to uh, the year December 21st, 2012, is 11 years and 101 days. From 9-11, 2012, to uh, December 21st, 2012, beginning, uh, began counting on the 9 to 12 equals of 101 days, 11 years and 101 days.